verdict in the Jerry Sandusky trial, and this evening Sandusky is behind bars after that resounding verdict on 45 of 48 counts guilty and guilty of sexually abusing 10 boys. Here is the moment, the time the word of the verdict came spreading through that crowd gathered outside that courthouse. A short time later, there was this image. Sandusky led from the courthouse in handcuffs, very likely to be locked up now for the rest of his life. And tonight we ask what comes next and what about his wife? Is she in the clear? Dan Abrams standing by with that, but we begin with Jim Avila on the case from the beginning. Jim, good evening. Good evening, David. It was a late night, dramatic and emotional verdict that left this town, Penn State, the Penn State community, reeling from the biggest uh, scandal in college sports history, and they're now just trying to recover. He's still ringing in his ears. Jerry Sandusky taken away in handcuffs, his mugshot taken, assigned jail number 120529. A former local hero, now just another pedophile, trying to stay alive in the system. No visits for now, but his wife, Dottie, did bring him supplies today. He's allowed shoes, underwear, and socks from home, personal photos, letters, and Bible. This is not a surprise. The surprise would have been had Jerry Sandusky been acquitted of all or most of the charges filed against him. Amendola told ABC News it was the about face by Sandusky's adopted son, Matt, that kept Jerry off the stand, afraid he would be called as a rebuttal witness. Jerry realized that had Matt testified, it would have destroyed whatever chance he had at an acquittal in this case. It was not just Jerry Sandusky that was damaged by his secret life as a serial pedophile. Penn State University suffers a major hit on its reputation and promises in a statement to accept the responsibility and attempt to reach settlements with Sandusky's victims, many of whom have already hired lawyers and are considering lawsuits. We're going to caucus and decide what is in the family's best interests. We are not ruling out a civil uh, trial by any uh, stretch of the imagination. In the end, all eight boys who testified about the abuse they suffered at Sandusky's hands were believed by the jury, surviving defense attacks that they were only out for money and embellished their stories to please police. The jury foreman quoted today as saying as he read the verdicts in court, he watched Jerry Sandusky, and even he knew what the kids had said was true. Who would believe a kid? And the answer to that question is, we here in Belfont, Pennsylvania, would believe a kid. We would believe a kid. A jury of 12 people here in Belfont, PA, most definitely would and did believe a kid. As for Jerry Sandusky, he now faces up to 500 years in prison for those, for those uh, charges. The judge said he'll sentence him officially in 90 days. David? Jim Avila on this case from the start. Jim, thanks to you. I want to bring in our senior legal analyst, Dan Abrams. Dan, great to have you here. And you and I were tweeting as this verdict came in last night, something that's still striking to people 24 hours later. Sandusky's own attorney asked if this proves his client is a sick man after the overwhelming message from the jury. And, and look what he said. Does that prove to me that my client is sick? And the answer is no. You know, folks, there are lots of people sitting in jails all across this country who are innocent. There have been people, lots of people, lots of people. May I, may I finish? Nearly booed off the courthouse steps. Incredible to listen to. Yeah, this is a press conference that he should not have held. He doesn't quite want to say his client is innocent. He certainly doesn't want to start pointing the finger at the victims in this case. And so he should have just come out and made a quick statement and called it a day. I think that this hurt him and his client more than it did help. And you saw that our team inside the courtroom reporting that Dottie Sandusky, Sandusky's wife, didn't shed a tear when this verdict was read. And she was shaking her head in the courtroom. But I look down the road. Is she in the clear on this? I think criminally she's probably in the clear. Uh, civilly, though, people who are going to be suing Jerry Sandusky, I think she'll certainly be impacted by any and all of those lawsuits. And I'd expect that uh, that family will walk away with almost no money uh, after all of these cases are said and done. Remember, Penn State is going to be the big ticket item here. They're the ones with all the money. They're the ones with the millions of dollars. And I think you're going to see a lot of lawsuits against Penn State here. And back to Jerry Sandusky himself facing more than 400 years when he's sentenced in the coming weeks. Is there any chance he's going to see the light of day freedom ever again? If he were 28 or 38, I might say possibly uh, at age 68, I can't see how it possibly happens based on a conviction on these 45 counts.